Even my secret identity as a human is about to be revealed to everyone in the demon world. But you may be wondering, how will this happen? And how will those around him react to the news? Well, I'm here to break it down for all you guys. So stick around to the end of the video and make sure to hit subscribe button and notification bell for more Iruma content and manga content in general. We've been growing at a crazy rate recently, mainly due to the last Iruma video. And it honestly means a lot to me. So let's keep the hype going and aim for even more. To start with, we have to discover when Iruma will become enough of a threat to Bar for him to go down the route of revealing his true nature. Since realistically, Ball is going to be the one to drop this bombshell. Now, I believe Iruma has already made it to this point as he recently stopped the war, which I explained in the video on screen. And this war was instigated by Ball behind the scenes since he thrives on chaos. Iruma actually stopped his plans here and he actually became a wrench in his plans. But Ball is waiting for Iruma to become a hero like he is. He's already gained the trust slash respect of the 13 crowns, as they realised that Iruma stopping the Barbatos president was something they never could have done. Iruma stopping this conflict caused multiple things to take place. Number one, the Barbatos clan no longer held resentment towards the 13 crowns. Number two, he stopped an upcoming war between the 13 crowns and the three heroes. And number three, Iruma's actions caused Bachiko to become a member of the 13 crowns, making them exponentially stronger overall. But Iruma has already become a hero since the Water Theme Park incident and his notoriety is growing more and more. Baal wants Iruma to become recognisable to everyone and become a pillar of hope, but he'll tear down that wall by revealing that he's actually a human, leaving Iruma completely isolated like he feared in the Harvest Festival. But we'll delve more into that later. We first need to discuss Iruma's rise to power and how he's grown to such a threat that even the most evil people in the world see him as their destined enemy. Iruma's rise to power has actually already begun, as he's become a prominent figure in Babylus and a lot of the demon world, as he not only became the honest student ahead of Asmodeus due to being the grandson of the most powerful demon in Sullivan, he also continuously stood out in Babylus with his absurd antics. He summoned Kalego, the strongest teacher in Babylus, as his familiar. He shocked everyone when receiving his rank by befriending the Guardian of the Valley and was a complete unknown since he wasn't even given a rank, but was given a ring that crippled the school due to its screams. He then went on to stop the entire school from being destroyed by Kirio, earning more respect among the teachers and making himself a destined enemy. But his evil phase was when Iruma showed how much of a presence he could have if he really wanted to, essentially taking over the school for a short period of time, earning himself even more notoriety. He then displayed that he is completely different when compared to any other demon, as he chose to save everyone he could in the Water Theme Park. He not only saved some kids that were in danger, but stopped an attack that no one else had the guts to stand in front of. Also, Iruma stopping this attack actually already went against Ball's plan since he wanted Water Theme Park to be completely destroyed, as he said that such a happy place doesn't need to exist. He was paraded as a hero as Ronaway's father, who has the bloodline magic attention which attracted all the gazers to Iruma who was next to him at the time. And Sullivan came out shortly after and straight up called him a hero on the news. Iruma is then taught by Bachiko, which in retrospect is even more impressive. She's now the number two in the Barbatos clan and is a member of the crowns, making her one of the most powerful demons in the world. This gives Iruma even more influence later on, shown recently when another member of the crowns, Mephisto, is insulted when Iruma sings her praises. By the way, as I am recording this, the new chapter just dropped showing that Mephisto has realised that Iruma is the main character. Yes, his influence, like I've said throughout this entire video, and will continue to say, has grown to such a point that even a 13 crown is mesmerised by him. But anyway, let's go back to what I was talking about. Shortly after being trained by Bachiko is the Harvest Festival, where... Iruma wins it, of course. I mean, he is the protagonist after all. He's named the Young King, aka someone who could potentially take the throne of the Demon King someday. In the music festival arc, he's made rank 5 by Amdusias, making him one of the highest rank first years in the entire demon world, and he officially becomes the most famous student in Babylus. Due to this rank up, he's given a chance to meet the 13 crowns and the three greats. Along with two of the other grandsons of the three greats, they are given a chance to make their arguments as to why they'd be a good demon king, and how they change the world in their image. But this was actually a trick as it turns out they were actually more interested in how they ate their food. Yeah, I'm, I'm serious. Apparently it proves the demon's true colours and as the other crowns talk about how each ate, Baal is the one to bring up how Iruma ate. He says that his greed is bottomless and the idea of him becoming the demon king 
thinking terrifies him, showing that Ball is keeping an eye on Iruma. Ball makes plans to kidnap Iruma shortly after, sending two of his underlings to infiltrate Babylus. He wants to take care of Iruma since he hates Delkira, and he found out that Iruma does possess his mana. He knows that if Iruma began to suspect things, he'd have a dangerous enemy. Atari is the one to attempt the kidnapping, but Iruma is able to escape thanks to Shida. Ball leaves Iruma alone for the time being, since realistically he isn't that much of a threat, so he continues to make his plans for the upcoming Deviculum. And this is where Iruma came dangerously close to interrupting his plans. This is because he instinctively moved to protect the princess, but he was stopped by Kirio. This surely made Ball a lot more wary of Iruma, and it seems like a lot of the people around him seem to know that Iruma is human, so the choice of who reveals it is up in the air. But in my opinion, it will be Ball to reveal it. He could use Iruma being human as a reason to split the 13 crowns apart, since he knows that Sullivan was the one who transported them there. Sullivan was the number one choice amongst most to become the next Demon King, and if the trust in him is broken, then the balance will collapse even more than it already has, and Ball, with Shura's full support, will cause a humongous war to happen, which includes everyone. Also, Mephisto said that he's on his side, showing that the 13 crowns are 100% going to be divided. Babylus will also crumble since Iruma is their hero, and other than the misfit class, the rest of the school will not rest easy knowing there is a human among them. Now, since the border control will be on Iruma's ass after this, yes, Henry knows he's human, but once Ball himself, a member of the 13 Crown, reveals that he is, he won't be able to keep it under wraps any longer. As the only reason Iruma's even able to stay in Dean World right now is because Azazel Henry didn't reveal it to everyone. So the chances are that they want to escort him back to the human world, since that's what he said when he found out Iruma was human. Now, there are already suspicions in the border control that he is human, but when they confronted Sullivan, they couldn't really detect him since he's so powerful and realistically he has way more influence than they do but if Baal someone who's now on the same level with the three greats came out and said that Iruma is human and Sullivan has been harboring him they won't be able to ignore it anymore and the border control would be able to take Iruma away. Opera will be the one to actually escort him and save him but he won't stay with Iruma since Sullivan probably won't be in the best spot. No matter how strong he is, there's no way you can take on multiple crowns, since they all won't be on his side here, so he will require Opera's help. But before we continue, we have to discuss this. How will Iruma's friends in the Misfit class react to him being human? Well, we can build a basis based on how others have reacted in the past. Thalam was fascinated by him, and instantly became willing to protect him at any cost since he was a rare creature, and when Kalego found out recently, he chose to ignore it and said that he'd protect his students no matter what, and Iruma is still one of them. Amory also stopped caring about his identity when she got to know him, or to put it in better words, she chose to ignore it, since she knows deep down that he identifies as a demon. Iruma is already a demon, it's just that physically he's human. But I don't see the misfits reacting negatively at all. Asmodeus already knows that Iruma is keeping secrets as he literally told him so. The chances are that they'd probably just be impressed that he managed to keep up with demons despite being a human. Yes, Iruma kept secrets from his friends, but I'm sure they'd understand once he explains. However, once his identity is revealed, I don't think he'll be able to stick around Babylus. His friends may react positively to the news, but as Balam said, not all of those in the demon world would take the news well and could end up devouring him due to their instincts or ostracizing him due to fear. So staying as a student is impossible. I mean, something similar is in My Hero Academia. When Deku revealed the nature of his quirk, he couldn't stick around and had to go his own way. That barely lasted any time at all, and to be honest, I wasn't the biggest fan, but Iruma will spend a lot more time as an outcast alongside Shida, who will stick by his side to protect him and train him. You may think, why Shida? Well, Iruma stated that he wants her to teach him above anyone else, because he knows he doesn't have the heart to hurt anyone, and if the series goes down this path, Iruma can't continue to be so naive and show no aggression towards his enemies, so Shida will be the one to teach him this. This is where the time skip will happen. Yep, that's right, Mayuma Shira Iruma-kun will have a time skip. I mean, it's a shonen, it has to happen. It's the law. As we all know, Iruma is a master of archery. He's gotten to such a level that he recently impressed one of the new crowns, Mephisto, with his skill. He's a master of ranged combat as he's shown over and over, but we also know he has Ultra Instinct, which allows him to not only dodge every attack, but turn an opponent's strength against them as he showed against Asmodeus. Now you may think, regarding his training other than, you know, his mentality, how will she to help him physically? Well, she's a master of close quarters combat. If she teaches Iruma how to fight, he'll be unstoppable. He'll have his insane archery, his absurd magic power, which will only go stronger as he ranks up thanks to Alisan. And then he'll be a close quarters monster as well 
well, dodging everything you throw at him and even using his own enemy's strength against them. We could even see him learn Grand Fractal as I explained in this video on screen. This was literally my first Iruma video ever, but I think this point still stands. He'll dodge everything and then smash you into the ground and this power up will already make him among the strongest in the demon world. Iruma will return from the time skip, saving everyone in the misfit class in a triumphant way. As I believe Bar will cause a war like he previously planned. He'll use his men in the six fingers, enhanced with experimentation, and in a few years, who knows how strong his forces will have become. And outside of this, he's already a man that has influence equaling the three greats, thanks to Princess Shura's support. So, in conclusion, Iruma's identity will be revealed sooner than you think. Since I believe that the story is around 50% done at the moment, people do theorise that it's going to end at about chapter 666, and I personally buy this. And the time skip will be the moment that the tone shifts entirely into this darker nature. When Iruma returns from his training with Shida, he'll be the enemy of the underworld because Baal will continue to work his magic and make him seem a lot worse than he is. But Iruma will prove everyone wrong and will continue to live in the demon world as he stated he wanted to. He'll become the demon king with no secrets, uniting the overworld and the underworld as a human. Now if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to click the video on your screen right now and please make sure to subscribe. We're growing in subscribers at a crazy rate so yeah let's keep it going.